So, apparently there was a jerk who made a video about how good Hunter is and now there's Hunter decks everywhere, everywhere on ladder. But luckily I have the perfect counter to this Hunter deck. Galatron Control Warrior. It runs all the good stuff to kill Hunters, such as Taunt, Armor, Board Clear, Rush, Rush, AoE, and of course Galakron. With all this board clear and armor, these hunters don't stand a chance. Okay, so let's take our uh, control warrior to the ladder and uh, pound some faces. In. <laughs> this guy's toast. <laughs> a hunter player, hey. Nice to meet you. I can't want to keep Zilliax, right? How important is it to stabilize early? Yeah, pretty important. Now, but I really like Zilliax. It's a taunt and a heal. Hard to say no to that. Maybe I should have hard mulligan for a one drop. Oh, never mind. I'm just going to top deck it because I'm a skilled player. Skilled player top decks one drop all the time. This will counter like Leopard Gnome so well here. Dude, you can save some time and concede right now because the game's over. This place is scary. Oh, okay. Dusty Recycler is definitely taunt and lifesteal and a mech, so I can slap a silly axe on top of it. We're going to value city. More master we take. I think here we just your Oh, out of order. Not that it matters, because I'm not running shield slam, but you know, still bad order. There's two traps in a face hunter deck. To my side. Ooh, that's really good for him. Definitely one of the better ones. I can invoke Galakron, which gives me damage. I think it's okay, right? I'll take four damage here, which is not you know, ideal, but. Kind of have to do it. His toxic reinforcement is not even being uh, built up. I think we just slammed his early axe, right? Unity, precision, correction. Start getting the heal right away. We should also look to armor a little bit. Could be explosive trap. It's okay. This will break your There's a highly good chance this explosive trap here. So all he's gonna do is zero power for a bit, right? That's a lot of lepernoom. Leopard Gnomes. Stay back. I mean, we we'll just trade him. Heal through it. Zero power for more armor. We'll play Rusty Recycler for more armor. For more potential heal. This explosive trap is hella annoying, though. Gonna hero power non-stop. Huh? I can play Barista here, gain armor, and then put more of them into my hand. Actually, no, I won't have room. Yes, I know. A lot nice order toast. This place is scary. Ah, uh, that's right. I'll add two one one scarabs with taunt to your hand. Mogushan Warden one seven. My hero power counters his. Alright, this will give him... Um, this is really good for us because it gives us a target to hit in with the react. Primitive. Oh, he runs snake trap. Yeah, that's fine. Around explosive um, misdirection first. 
Okay, what's this? It's explosive trap. Up here. Invoke Galakrond. Yeah, there you go. Too much taunts and armor and heal. Take that, you dirty, dirty hunter player. Let the game Mage. What kind of mage decks are popular? Highlander mage? I think it's primo right now. Everything else just kind of sucks. Ooh, not the greatest hand against a non aggro deck. Yeah. Top deck, Town Cry on one. Oh, it's a good time. With a Galakron, you kind of want to hit Scion of Ruin because it essentially triples the buff. Easy damage to a minion. If you're holding a dragon, discover a spell. Okay. Man, my hand sucks. Oh, the combo is Scion into Lin Chan. Oh, I see it now. Scion Lin Chan gives you triple Scion for huge late game value. Oh. Okay, that's a random ass secret. I'm just gonna play Quartermaster. If I play this, the attack is a little wasted, isn't it? This will break your From nothing. Heavy Meadow. I think Heavy Meadow's the Actually, Omega Assembly is pretty valued too. Six mana for a random 10 drop or three max. <sighs> like, we're almost assuredly getting 10 armor at this game at some point, right? Omega Assembly can give me three 10 drops. <laughs> right? That's my logic here. That's a big Back to the void. You picked Iceberg? Weirdo. Your magic shall not save Not the most efficient trade. I could use some moment to trade, but then for vaporize. What's all the mage secrets? Oh my god. Don't do me like that. Shield of Gelacron. Kind of like the shield of Gelacron here. He's a much bigger body than the Devoted Mania. It's not mana efficient because I don't get to work in the field power, but I think one of my biggest problems with Hearthstone, like personally, skill wise, is that I try and go for efficient plays all the time. And it's not going to work out every time. So I got the Scion combo here. Wait, why didn't he play this to deal 2 damage? Or maybe he has a play so that it doesn't matter? Oh, no, he just messed up. Play this. I think it's fine. That's some power. And if he doesn't kill this, I get to re-add it to my hand. I want maximum Barista Linchen value in this matchup. The end is coming. Dude, I have too much value. Uh <laughs> God, I hope I don't mill Galakron. You're in my hands now. My hand is oh no, my other Scion. Feels bad. How worried are we about AoE? Well, we gotta get all the AoE out anyway, right? So maybe we can wait on this guy for now. Try and discover something. This place is scary. Sure is Etten is just a big minion. Which we kinda like. 
Uh, evasive Draconoid seems good. Definitely mad aspect. It's a giant ass beefier boy though. But he's gonna have a hard time killing an evasive Draconoid. Especially since we'll have the rush advantage. He's playing Reno Mage. I'm pretty sure. We're gonna have some fun. Uh, top deck is Reno. Your feeble magic amuses me. Okay, we want to use this guy to get three damage. Except for the Reno. Like, he can't polymorph fireball it, right? Or just try and cl keep clearing his units. And so our evasive Draconoid just keeps punching him in the face. Oh, that. Is some really beefer boys. Okay. I think we can kill both, right? I can invoke here and then invoke and this is two damage. It's what not enough. Card if I play this, I go to seven. Yeah, quite the slog back here. And he still has 9 cards. He has so much value. I think we had a chance if um, our Galakron hit Scion of Ruin. But because we drew both Scion. The future is Dark Game of Luna. If he draws a bunch of cards, we'll find that. Right? Like, tools him of milling creation. himself is really good for us. He's looking to flame strike my evasive track no way at this point. There's the polymorph. Not too surprising. Swamp ooze to destroy a one attack weapon. <laughs> this allows me to clear. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot it comes back. Oh, I'm so bad. Oh, I'm so bad. I forgot it comes with taunt. Oh, I'm bad, I'm bad. You know, I'm bad. I'm bad. You know it. <laughs> Shiza. I should just trade in my 2 2 in with my 1 1, right? Behold the tools of creation. This pocket galaxy. I can try to win the fatigue war. Try and pull like a Zephyrus here. Face me, you cowardly club. That's pretty good. I see a vision in the flames. I will act as your skin. If we remove all his big stuff, we win the fatigue war. We have a lot cards left in our deck that's not good at clearing big guys though. He'll have Dragon Queen, Alex Draza, and Zephyrus, right? Ready for a show? <sighs> oh my lord, he's going for it. Okay, that's fine. Actually, that's insane <laughs> because he doesn't get Alex Draza value. <laughs> and he just milled three cards. And he destroyed his own four And he's casting Bloodlust, which is scary. He has two pals in secrets. He drew another card. He's down to four cards. Should I brawl? Should I add more minions before I brawl? Yes. We'll break your like from nothing. Oh. oh, I can get my reveal a weapon from your deck. It deals one damage to all. My ritual chopper for one damage. No, that's pretty bad. I kind of really need to win the brawl, right? Right now, it's a forty percent chance. It's a forty percent chance for a really bad outcome. If I play this, it's 
two and six, which is one over three. Thirty-three percent chance. I save seven percent. I think it's worth to save seven percent. Right? Play this contested. So it's noble sack or eye for eye or auto defense matrix. Unity, precision, perfection. Draw four minions, give them plus four, plus four, equip a claw. That's powerful. So it's either auto defense or noble sacrifice, in both cases, super annoying. But we should still be able to clear. Precision. I'm gonna do this. So in case it is auto defense, I still get the life steal. Noble sack is also fine because um, I take one less damage to this way. Is this eye for an eye? Does this draw anything? It draws a 1 1 Eternium Rover and a Frightened Flunky. 1, 2, 3. I actually have four mi 5 minions left in my deck. So whenever you draw a minion, summon a 1 1 copy of it. That could be good. He still has Zephyrus. Oh my god. These are some crappy 5 drops. <laughs> this one could be really good. <laughs> I don't have a silence for it, so it's a little scary. Now's a good time to Jalakron, right? Jalakron. This will draw all of my units. That's my deck. Oh man, Jalakron's got hella armor in his super upgraded form. His will be done. He don't draw me cards, right? This place is scary. Uh, Taunt, summon three random one cost units for your opponent. Hey, that's good with Brawl, isn't it? And it's probably Phantom Militia. The Echo would be really good. Out of cards. Oh, I miss these control games. He still has his coin from the beginning. And Zephyrus, which normally gives you Your magic right? shall not save you. Need a key. Ah, <sighs> mage secrets. Flame ward. After mini attack here, deal three damage to all enemies. Well, we don't want mirror entity or spitting image screwing us, right? Oh, enjoy your mind drop. Alright, Gronker. What's a devastation to unleash? How strong would this random dragon be? Doesn't matter, right? I shouldn't pop his bobber for him. Listen here! I'll you. I don't want to use my 5 1 to hit, and it feels really bad. I'm, out of cards. I'm looking to smork him down soon. I have a 10 attack Leroy Jenkins. That was a neat trick. Down to two cards, one of which is most likely Zephyrus. What's the one Zephyrus card he can get that will instantly save his life? Alright, Kronk. Suck 5 health. Probably the 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah, and then just smack him. And then play a 10 attack Leroy. Is Barista essential to this deck? Well, the thing about Barista is it triples your Scion of Ruin, right? So you end up with like five Scion of Ruins. Twisting Nether, he gets a random drag. Oh. 
Oh, no, he doesn't get a dragon because he doesn't discover a dragon. <laughs> so it's just a 5 mana 0 3. Last card. I dealt with the Reno and the Zephyrus and the Queen Alexstrasza. I think if he didn't get Dragon Queen Alexstrasza ripped out, he had a really good chance because he missed out on two free dragons. Galakrond Warrior beats fast decks and beats slow decks. So what more can you ask for? The best of both worlds. Hey, lights out.